Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Jeff Cowboy and today it's a continuation of the previous video on troubleshooting engine noise. And today I'm going to be showing you how to change an O2 sensor on this Nissan Rogue 2008. So this vehicle comes with the two O2 sensor. There is this upper stream and we also have a downstream which is down there right here. The reason why we are changing this O2 sensor is because of the engine uh, noise that we have been experiencing. And since I have a check engine light, I'm going to be running the code using this Zeus Smart Vehicle Health Monitor device here, which you plug in on the OBD port under the steering wheel. Here in a little bit, I'm going to show you how. So if you're new here on, on my channel, welcome back. I um, mean, now welcome to my channel and uh, subscribe using the red subscribe button below. Also, if you're my subscriber, thank you for continuing to support my channel. So, the OBD uh, port is right here under the steering wheel. And all you do with this uh, uh, Zeus device, you just plug in on this OBD port just like this. And now, this OB, uh, Zeus. You have to download an app on your phone so you can be able to communicate with a vehicle computer. So once you have it there, you just turn the vehicle to one position and from there you go to the app, the Zeus app on your phone. And here is the Zeus app, just click on it. And it bring you this screen and on this screen on the bottom uh, you see that says safety click on that and I had already run it but uh, we are going to rescan hit the rescan button and start scanning your vehicle now this is where my uh, smartphone is communicating with the vehicle and it's already start uh, showing some Safety issues, there are four issues detected. One of them is a PO130, which is O2 sensor circuit malfunction, bank one sensor one, which I just showed you. And also PO031, heater control circuit, bank one again, sensor one, P0300, serial misfire, and P1148 closed loop control function bank one. Now bank one sensor one have also has now been mentioned almost three times. So let's focus on this P0130 and you click on it and it's gonna give you more detailed information here. Possible causes, um fonte fraud heater docks and sensor bank one, all that good information. Uh, possible symptoms, descriptions, it's going to give you all the description, uh, I'll show you possible solutions, and the good thing is also show you the cost, how much it can cost you to repair uh, this issue, um, and more uh, detailed information here. So the reason why I'm changing the O2 sensor it's because if you look here, uh, if you go back on the on the codes, it showed three different codes that lead bank one sensor one. That's why I'm gonna focus on changing the bank one sensor one, and hopefully this is going to solve our engine noise issues. And now, without further ado, let's get started with uh, this project. So, let's first go through the tools and parts that you're gonna need. First, you need uh, this special universal socket, and it's a special one. It come uh, cut on the side in order to facilitate uh, connecting the O2 sensor and the cable. Uh, you definitely gonna need a 3.8 drive uh, ratchet, and uh, of course the new O2 sensor. And don't worry the all these tools and the o2 sensor i'm going to show you i'm going to attach the link where you can buy at a good deal on the description below 
You also need uh, some good gloves that can protect you from uh, burning yourself because when you're taking off an O2 sensor, you, uh, you, you're gonna need your engine to be a little bit warm because sometimes that O2 sensor is stuck in there and difficult to remove. So you need good gloves to protect you from burn. All right, so you start off by disconnecting the wiring harness it, and it's just a creek and it's coming lighter out. And now using your O2 sensor socket, line up the opening space with the, with the wire and hook it up to the O2 sensor. And now using your ratchet, uh, hook, hook, hook your ratchet uh, to the socket and counter counterclockwise. Turn it counterclockwise to remove the O2 sensor. Just like I'm gonna do right here. Again, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, I highly uh, encourage you to do so. And also ring that bell so you can always be notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you for those who have continued to support this channel. And here we come, oh, here we go. Uh, the O2 sensor, the old one, you, as you can see, it's already beaten up. And I'm gonna show here in a little bit, uh, compare the new one with the old one. Make sure you have the same length so you can be able to reach the connection. And it, as you can see, it's, it's good. And now comparing the two, you can see the old one. Uh, yeah, it look beat up. So I'm gonna be using these, uh, this little packet here. It's uh, for threads, so it can be easy to remove next time. And this uh, is called anti -seize. It came with a new, with a new O2 sensor package, which is good. So you only uh, apply this uh, solution to the threads and just like you remove it now attach it and only use your hand to tighten make sure to tighten using your hands to begin with and by doing so it's to protect uh, your your new O2 sensor from cross threading or damaging um, damaging the threads. So you hand tighten before you come in with the socket. And they look seated the right way. Make sure you inspect and make sure it's uh, in good position before you come in with your uh, with the socket. Where now you need the socket and the ratchet again to make it tight. And I'm hoping that this now is gonna fix the issue that we've been having with the aging rat, rat train, aging creaking, all kind of noise right here. And thank you for those people who've been commenting cause uh, it's through those comments, advice that we are working this project. So this is one of those projects that I said, we're gonna do it together with you guys once you have your uh, O2 sensor connected, make sure you wire uh, the connector just the way it was and hook it up right there, just like so. It's not difficult. This is one of those easy projects that you can do it yourself on your driveway. And now let's find out if we fix the issue. So, so the engine is still making the noise to my disappointment. But there is a little bit of change as you can hear but you can hear the engine is still uh, making that weird noise rattling i don't know what to call it but uh here in a little bit i'm gonna take it uh i'm not convinced uh so i'm gonna take it for a road test 
and uh, see if probably it's gonna reset everything and one thing I did here off the camera is I did reset the all the codes and clear off the engine uh, check engine light that was here on the dashboard so I cleared it off so I'm on a driveway I mean on my on my road test so I can see whether it will come back or not but as I drive it's still making the same noise there is a little bit of change but if by drive testing here it can tell uh, the issue is still there so so there is this one more test that I'm going to do and I believe I'm very sure hopefully it's going to fix the issue so next video is coming up soon stay tuned